Amira has been, uh, if I remember, you know, I mean, I, I help Indian healthcare now. So she was one of my earliest partners, very successful and bright partners, if I may say, Amira, uh, must be 10, 15 years back. And, you know, in advocacy work with the government. So I am taking the liberty, Amira, to ask you, what do you think is government's role on digitization in healthcare? Uh, like uh, Ravinder mentioned that he meets chief ministers and now people are realizing that there has to be remote healthcare. It's not such a good. So what is your take, Amira? Do you think that uh, the government will understand the need for healthcare digitization uh, quick enough? Regulatory matters will be sorted out. The eternal squabbles between private sector and government will sort of give way to collaborative work. Your take on this complex subject. But, but I, would, I, would, I would start by saying that you have to say that, but uh, I'm not <laughs> so sure. <laughs> uh, look, I'm, I'm, part of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm part of the uh, National Digital Health Mission uh, Committee, yeah. which is working closely with the government as well on yeah. trying to see how we can move healthcare to a more digital space. Uh, what I am seeing is while there is keenness and Niti is, uh, is pushing this cause uh, uh, and trying to get private industry to come and work with them. Sure. Uh, you know, the fundamental challenges which have always existed between private and, and public have not changed. In fact, if you ask sure. me, they have gotten exaggerated during COVID. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the, the distrust and the mistrust that yeah. is there between private and public sector, yeah. the challenges that we always knew were there between center and state. Uh, because health is a state subject and not a, and not a uh, federal subject, um, you know, I think unless we move to a uh, situation where it is a, a subject for center and state, uh, unless we move to more policy making, I, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, very hopeful that we are going to see a huge change uh, going forward. I do hope that the government does drive this because it's very much needed. Uh, if you actually look at what has happened in, in the US and to your earlier point of digital will yeah. make our industry more integrated. I have a slight disagreement, Anjanda. Because sure, sure, uh, while I while I hope that happens again, mm. I don't see the fundamental pillars for making that happen. See, what needs to happen mm. for an integration of healthcare? Uh, fundamentally, each person in the healthcare ecosystem has to understand what they do best uh, and where are sure, the areas sure. of their strength and therefore sure. ally with other partners in healthcare to work on the areas which are of their sure. strength and each person is a specialist. Sure. What sure. I see happening in healthcare, especially now and even earlier, everybody wants to do everything. So everybody sure. wants to be a path lab company, everybody wants to now do e-pharmacy, everybody wants to do teleconsultation. Yeah. You yeah. know, everybody's jumping on the digital bandwagon, at least the larger players and people want to do everything rather than partner. And I think the lack of partnering has been the fundamental uh, issue in healthcare because yes. we have a lot of overlaps and leakages. Absolutely. I don't see that changing post-digital even though it should sure. because the mindset has all till not changed sure. of private industry. Sure. Uh, and, and fundamentally as the government's goal is to make healthcare more accessible and affordable, uh, at least the largest top 30 players, 40 players in the country in healthcare today, I don't think are working on the agenda of accessibility and affordability. Uh, because the people, the yeah. segment of society that we all continue to deal with are the top 2% of society sure, uh, and sure. the innovation that needs to happen to make it affordable uh, is is not happening. I don't see it happening actually in a significant manner. Sure. So, uh, so uh, you know, I, I don't yeah. think we're moving leaps and bounds ahead uh, on the goals of the, of the country. Yet. Thank you very much, Amira. I think, you know, I, I think, uh, uh, I mean, it has been a very enriching discussion so far. But the point you make is close to my heart personally and I think close to many of our heart. We still, uh, you know, even even the, perhaps the uh, uh, um, audience here, all of us are still serving two, three, five, ten percent. OK, let's be generous, you know, and it's the unfortunate thing. Affordability, accessibility, the two terms get mentioned by you for the first time uh, in this uh, uh, discussion and I'm happy about that. So I think you know that collaborative spirit, the uh, breaking of the barrier of trust, I think we have still some way to go. Possibly a little bit of beginning has been made by you know forced by the corona but you know we have got court cases going uh, uh, for uh, on the cost part you know I mean I've in my days we have had never court cases between private sector and government so I was a bit disappointed when these things were happening. So I agree with you. I think pragmatism, uh, pragmatic approach is the right approach. We shouldn't give up, but we should have the resilience to pursue because 
I think the other 85-90% also needs uh, minimum quality standard wala accessible and affordable healthcare. So how digital will provide that, that uh, we have to see.